Good day, kids. How are you today? That's nice to hear. I am Teacher Dendi, your teacher for Science 6. Today, we are going to learn the planets in the solar system. Here are the learning competencies for today's lesson. Compare the planets of the solar system. Construct a model of the solar system showing the relative sizes of the planets and their relative distances from the sun. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us first have an activity. We are going to make a paper plate solar system using a paper plate and colored pencils or crayons. Based on the solar system paper plate that we made, which is the bigger one and what does it represent? Very good! How about their sizes? What have you noticed? Great job, kids! Which planet is the nearest to the sun? And which is the farthest? Very good, class! You've got it all right. Are you ready, kids? Explained. Now, brace yourself as we are going to a quick tour on the outer space. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai, which means wandering. Planets are called as such because they are always moving. There are eight planets in the solar system. All of these planets move constantly in its own star, the Sun. The planets in our solar system are divided into two groups. These are the inner planets, and these are the outer planets. Inner planets are those four planets closer to the sun, and the outer planets are those planets farther from the sun. Inner planets are also called as terrestrial planets, while the outer planets are also called as Dubian planets. Let us know more about these planets. Terrestrial planets. These are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They are called as terrestrial planets because, like Earth, these planets have a rocky surface. The first planet is Mercury. Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun. Mercury is a terrestrial planet composed mainly of sodium, oxygen, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. Mercury has no moon or ring around it. Next is Venus. Venus is the second closest planet to the sun and the hottest planet. The thick layer of clouds in Venus' atmosphere reflects sunlight very well making Venus the brightest object in the sky. It is often called as evening star or morning star. It is the Earth's twin planet. Like Mercury, it is also a terrestrial planet and a snow moon and ring around it. The third one is the planet where we live, the Earth. It is also known as the blue planet because it looks blue as seen from the outer space. Earth is the only planet that can sustain life. The atmosphere of Earth is made up mostly of nitrogen gas, oxygen with traces of argon 
carbon dioxide, and water. It is a terrestrial planet with only one moon. The fourth planet is Mars. Mars is also called the red planet. Mars has a very thin atmosphere which consists largely of carbon dioxide and a small percentage of other gases such as nitrogen and argon. It is the last terrestrial planet with two moons. Before we go to the outer planets, we will pass through first the asteroid belt. It is the region of space between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Asteroid belt is composed of the remains like rocks and debris known as asteroids that failed to fully form as a planet. The second group of planets is called Juvian planets or gas giants. These are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are called Juvian because like Jupiter, these planets are large and gaseous. Jove is another name for the Roman god Jupiter. The fifth planet is Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It has a huge storm in its atmosphere called as Great Red Spot. Jupiter is covered with thick clouds. There is no solid ground on Jupiter. It is called a gas giant planet which is made up mostly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has 50 moons with an additional of 17 moons recently discovered and currently being confirmed. The sixth planet is Saturn. It is a cold planet and has beautiful rings made up of dust and ice. Saturn is a gas giant without a solid surface. It is composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. There are 53 known moons surrounding Saturn. The seventh planet is Uranus. It is the first planet discovered by means of a telescope. It is considered as ice giant and the coldest planet. Its atmosphere is mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. Uranus is the only planet that rotates on its side. Uranus has rings too and has 27 moons. The last planet is Neptune. It is the farthest planet from the Sun and the first planet to be discovered using mathematical calculations. Neptune and Uranus are called as twin planets because they have about the same size and mass. Like Uranus, it is also an ice giant with rings and 13 moons. Now, let us go to the dwarf planets. Some examples of dwarf planets are Pluto and Ceres. Pluto is a dwarf planet beyond Neptune. It used to be considered as a planet, but in year 2006, it was degraded into a dwarf planet because it did not meet the International Astronomical Union's criteria for planets. Ceres. It is considered as the largest asteroid orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. It has self-gravity which makes it round and qualify as a dwarf planet. There you go kids! Now you know the 8 planets in the solar system. Let us answer the following. Say true if the statement is correct and false if not. 
Sun is the center of the solar system. If your answer is true, then you are correct. Terrestrial planets are composed of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The answer is true. Excellent! Saturn is the only planet with rings. The answer is false. Because Saturn is not the only planet with rings. Uranus and Neptune have rings too. Pluto was considered a planet until 2016 that it was then a dwarf planet. The answer is false. Because Pluto was considered a dwarf planet in the year 2006. Mars is known as the red planet. If your answer is true, then you are perfect. Now we know the eight planets of the solar system. We can therefore say that not all planets are the same. They are the same at some point and different in many aspects. Let us see what makes these planets unique and different from each other. They differ in size, distance from the sun, composition, gases in the atmosphere, number of moons, and movement. They are the same in shape. Inner planets are made up of solid rock. Outer planets are made up of gas and ice giants. They orbit around the sun. Did you enjoy our trip today? That's nice to hear. Now, it's time for you to have a paper and pencil activity. Answer the following questions. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Use the answer sheet given. Thank you for listening, kids. God bless and keep safe.